Hey, it's Heather. Uh, in this video, um, it's more of my MailChimp series. I'm going to show you how to create a landing page uh, to collect emails with. The great thing about this is that one, MailChimp is free. Uh, two, so are the landing pages. And three, you don't need your own website. So if you're in the beginning stages of your business or you know, you don't plan on having a website for a while. You still need to, you know, live somewhere online other than social media. MailChimp has made it super easy to create landing pages and collect those emails and keep in touch with those people as you sort of um, go through those steps of creating your business. So I have a specific um, MailChimp account for uh, my tutorials, which you can see here. Um, I figured that would make it nice and clean and easier for you guys to follow if my junk wasn't all messing it up, right? Um, so we're going to come up here to create. Uh, and you can see there are lots of options in here. There's a sign-up form, um, postcards, which is a new service, um, a landing page, ads. So you can connect uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Google uh, and use ads. Uh, via MailChimp, uh, or you can just create an email. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a landing page. So um, I'm you're going to just create a name for your landing page. Uh, I'm going to call it that. Uh, this is the list that you're going to use um, when someone signs up. On that landing page, this is the list it's going to go to. So then we'll click Begin. And you can see it sort of just does it for you. Um, and right here is where your logo will go. The great thing about MailChimp, they've just done this recently, is that um, they you can set a default logo. So anywhere there's this logo placeholder in an email or a landing page or anything else, uh, your logo will go in there. So the way you do that is in here in your content manager, you'll click my logo and set your default logo. So I'm just going to use, and you can see I've got my window right here. I'm going to use the Toots logo. Oh, it says it doesn't want to. Let's try again. Hmm. Let's try a different file type, shall we? It says it cannot upload to this tab. Well, that makes me sad. Let me see uh, if we can do it right here. Okay, that uploaded it. Oh my gosh, it's huge. We'll click Edit. And we'll resize it. Um, we don't need this to be very big, do we? We don't. That's probably sufficient. Um, there we go. It's gotten a little smaller. I'm going to crop it as well because it doesn't need to be square for MailChimp. Do it like that. And save. So now I'm curious. If we go to replace and hit my logo, hmm, choose an image from my files. So we choose the image, set my logo. There it is, you guys. We found it. Um, so now that set is your logo. And we've already got it inserted. OK, so save. It's going to give us a hard time. Um, like I said, it basically fills it all in for you. And you can edit things like the fields that go in here if you want to collect their first name. Um, I typically don't unless you're going to, I mean, I typically do so I can personalize. So if you're not going to personalize your emails or anything, that's not a big deal. And you can also toggle the required on and off here. We'll leave first name on there just because. Uh, and you can customize the 
button text right there. Um, and you can send visitors somewhere else uh, or just give them a confirmation, confirmation message that, down here, success, you've been added to our list. You can also, if you clicked web address, you can type in a web address here. So if there was another website you wanted them to go to or your Facebook page or something else you want them to do in that, um, in that funnel, you know, you could direct them that way. We're going to leave the confirmation message default on. Um, and you can, you know, adjust the style of the button. Um, oh, I wanted to change that and the hover and the text color, all that good stuff. Um, you can also edit this stuff right here. Um, center that, make it a little bigger. Um, and you can change the font in here. They have some um, Google fonts now that they use. Keep in mind that these look really great and they're helpful in uh, keeping your brand consistent if you use you know any of these Google fonts. Um, but they're still only viewable uh, in email apps that support Google fonts, and not all of them will, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, and you can, you know, update all of these, all of these options right here. Um, change the font color. I'm going to save that. I'm going to see if I can get this thing to work. I'm going to try deleting it. <laughs> and we'll just put we'll just put an image in there because for some reason it's just not cooperating. I wonder if we preview it, if it'll look fine. It looks fine when you preview it. So this is what your landing page will look like. Um, and you can preview it on mobile. All of their landing pages are responsive and mobile friendly. So there shouldn't be any weirdness going on right there. Uh, you can even add an image to the background. I don't like that image. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to see, I'm going to look real quick for, what do you think? How about that one? And we'll preview it again. That's pretty cool. That's all right. So we'll leave it like that. Um, save and continue. You're going to give it a title. Uh, you're going to give it a URL. If you want to, you can um, use your own domain if you upgrade to a paid account. So otherwise, it's going to start with this and randomly generate some stuff and then you can give it a name at the end. Uh, it's going to tell you what list it goes to um, right there. Um, and now you can publish and if you click this URL down here, open it in a new tab, you can see that there's your landing page, All right? Pretty cool. So that's how you create a landing page, and now you can use this URL and share it all over the place um, and collect your email addresses and use your MailChimp account to keep in touch with those subscribers. Um,
I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new. Uh, I want you to tell me what else you want to learn. Uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Like my videos. Uh, comment. Do all the stuff. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you can visit me online at heathermschiefer.com. Um, you can email me at heather at heathermarie.design or you can message me on Facebook uh, if you have any questions. You can also comment and keep in touch any way you like. Um, feel free to sign up on any of my forums. They're all over my website. And there's a sign up form on my Facebook page. If you go right here, you can sign up on my Facebook page. Um, so tell me what else you'd like to learn. Thanks, you guys.